Hello everybody, this is Dragon Ember Year 2 kick off round 1 for Group A. Yes, we're finally going to get started here and we got four beautiful matches to look forward to. At first we have got a Raybo taking on Dexin. We have the newcomer Conciliatory Pass taking a crack at Aster. We have two debutants going at it in Sunlight Rabbit and Gold. And well, if you need any motivation to keep watching this video, just have a look at our main event of this session. Cryonova, quarter-finalist last year, taking on the giant killer, Black Beauty. Last year, in Black Beauty's debut, they upset Ultimate Dino King, and I'm sure they'll be looking to take a chunk out of Cryonova this year. Enough about that. We got three matches to get through first before we get to our main event. So, let's get started, shall we? All right, righty-ho, then. In the red corner. She's standing tall and proud. Some people call her an abomination. It is Paris Dinotector representing Raybone. Boosh. <laughs> and it's got Dinotector as well. Bum -ba Okay, so, uh, rules for these matchups, and we are on the arid fields that favours Earth Dinosaurs. But I don't think there are any Earth Dinosaurs in this matchup. Right, representing Dexin in the blue corner, we have got the Uteraptor. Now, this team that Dexin is using was the team that he used to win Dinosaur Research Channel's tournament not long ago. So, for me, I feel like Dexin is a dark horse in this tournament, and actually... I do like his odds in this matchup in particular. The Uteraptor has the type advantage over the Paris, and his second Dino has the type advantage over Raybone's second Dino. Right, for those of you that are new, moves are randomly generated. One and four represent rock, two and five represent paper, three and six represent scissors. You get uh, three points for a win. You get a bonus point if you defeat your opponent with two Dinos left. You get two bonus points if you win three nil. And you get a losing bonus point if you lose, but your opponent's down to their last dino, and that dino's HP is below half. Right, that's enough about that. Badoosh. Ooh, a tense start so far. Raybone the only one getting a hit on the board. Oh, the Dexin responds with that crit. This Uteraptor does hit hard. And it got the Mayfly triggered. And the super impact has been triggered as well. Now, type disadvantage could work in Raybone's favour if he does get hits on the board. Because you look at our Dino Tector bar, it is getting full. And one ultimate grass can swing this match Raybone's way. Oh, he's gonna get it and get a big crit on the board. And wow, in our very first match of the tournament, we're going to see some Dino Tector. Right, I got to enter the code. Dino Tector on! And Dexin might be in a bit of a pickle here, especially if Raybo can get this hit. It's not a good start. Oh, how crucial can that bite and win be? I think this Uteraptor is defense type as well. Not that, not that that's going to make a difference, but that could be a crucial bite and win, and he almost killed it. But that's the diff that's the type advantage for you. That one big hit has put it in Dexin's favor. Oh, an ultimate leaf. I mean, it's going to kill it anyway, but still, it's nice to see. But that could be a massive hit by Raybone. And he will take an early lead, but it won't be much of one. Oh, there's the uh, sound lag. Oh, it feels good to do tournaments again, doesn't it? I'd love, I'd love that, I do. Right, representing Dexin for their second dino, we have got Spinosaurus. Yes, prepared to see a lot of this bugger in the tournament. A heroic type. Which is actually pretty good here. I mean, it doesn't matter because Paris is on really low health. The tie is going to kill her, but... Any dinosaurs with a paper crit would be a good match for this Spino. For those of you that don't know, Heroic type increases the damage your move does. The move that loses to your opponent's crit does. So in this case, that's the rock move. 
Okay, that tile do it. And Paris goes down. But did take the Utah up the down. Ooh, this is a really tense match so far. Like, I thought Dexin would have a really good advantage here because of the two type advantages he gets. But Raybone really putting up a fight. But again, I think Dexin has only got one hit off in this match so far. Oh, no, he got two. Yeah, he got a crit, didn't he? Right, anyway, for Raybone's second Dino, we got Alpha Rajasaurus. It'll have tight disadvantage against this Spino as well. So that's going to be a problem for Raybone. And it doesn't have the luxury of Dino Tector as well. But I does have the uh, Blunder, because this is Blunder type. It's another tie. Raybone will take that though. Chip away at this Spino's health. Stop it getting hits on the board. And Raybo getting a hit, a softening beam as well. That will increase the amount of damage this Spino will take in ties. You have to say, so far, Raybo, even though he's got the type disadvantage, putting up a really good fight. Dexin just struggling to impose themselves. But again, one hit can change that. But Dexin just can't get it. He just cannot get a hit. Oh, until now! Could that be a turning point? This Hydro Cutter is going to be lethal. Rajasaurus, look at that. <coughs> oh, that my throat gargle then. That's the difference. Massive hit by Spino. Right, we got Super Ferrocinosaurus for Raybone's third dinosaur. And I feel like he's going to need the Awaken Mode to get back in this contest, because... Dexin has just got himself a decent lead. Oh, uh, wake mode on three. Well, now... Oh, it's not much of a lead. And well, the lead is gone. So we are pretty much back to level packing. Oh, we got the Gary Rush as well. Spinosaur is going down. Alrighty then. For Dexin's third dinosaur, for me, the ace in the hole, we have Sorofagonax. Now, this Sorofagonax hits really hard. I mean, it hits really hard anyway, but this one, that firebomb, is deadly. And if Dexin gets that off, he could, he, could be get, he could be getting off to a winning start. But if Raybone can survive to the Awaken mode, I think he's got a chance. You know, I think, I didn't like this matchup for Raybone. I thought Dexin was going to win comfortably. But in this scenario, I feel like Raybone has given himself a chance. One hit with the Awaken mode can change everything. Oh, but has Dexin turned the screw right when he needed to? That guarantees the losing bonus point. Oh, that's a tie. But ties ain't going to help Raybo now. And that'll do it. There's the KO from Dexin. And well, despite a slow, sloggy start, Dexin Winters gets off to the winning start he wanted. And unfortunately for Raybone, despite a valiant effort, it will be no points from this match. Right, on to our next matchup now, which sees Asta take on the newcomer, Conciliatory Past. Right the ho then, in the red corner, representing Asta, we have got Alpha Kentrosaurus. Asta looking to build on this strong showing in last year's tournament. And to take notes, they did beat our current champ, Maastrician, in the Champions Tournament. But that's a, an entirely different thing. Right, what field is this? This is the Dirt Plains, I believe. And that favours Lightning Dinosaurs, so if you are a conciliatory pass, you'll probably like this field. Because it's Super Trike love terrain advantage. But we're not the Super Trike, we're on to Irritator. Warning type. <laughs> Um, I think despite that terrain advantage, I still make Asta the slight favourite here. I think the experience 
We'll, we'll see what happens. Ooh. Good start from the Irritator. It gets the warding effect as well. Boosh. Not bad. Attack boost coming off as well. A good start from the rookie. Ooh, but has to respond with a crit. Evening things up right away. Ooh, but another attack boost. This is a good showing from the conciliatory pass so far. In the lead, Asta, can he strike back again? No! And this is a good start. And look at that! Down goes Kendrosaurus. Right. Coming in for Asta's second I know. We have got Megalosaurus. Not much to say about this Meg. It's just got all secret moves. But it's going to have to pull it back here for Asta because this Irritator's looking pretty strong. Conciliatory passed off to a good start. And this Megalosaurus is also warning type as well. Ooh, getting some secret moves triggered there. Oh, was that a mistake from the rookie? A crit from the Meg. And, oh, wow, it killed it. It freaking killed it instantly. And quick as a wink, Asta levels things up. Right, for conciliatory past second dinosaur, we have got the Sancha Interesting, it doesn't have any earth moves. Which is kind of surprising, but we'll see how it plays out. But that was a big hit from Asta there, and he needed it. It's been a quite a uh, slow start. Oh, it's a secret move. And he gets the warning effect. Oh, this is not good. That's how quickly a match can turn. Two hits, and Asta's going to be in the lead. Oh, look at the damage. That is insane! Megalosaurus putting a mega beat down on conciliatory past. Ooh. But the hell, he needed this hit. It's a Venom Fang. That will steady the ship from conciliatory past's perspective because this Megalosaurus will look, was looking really strong. Gets the poison as well, which will help. Ooh. Well, he's doing more than that. It's a tail smash. Is this going to be lethal for the Meg? Ooh, no. But it does put Conciliatory Pass in the slight lead. And remember, he's got Super Triceratops coming in as well. With terrain advantage. So Conciliatory Pass will get a hit. So that pretty much guarantees that this Megalosaurus is going to go down. And it is going down. But it's by DeSantra Rurus's hands. And despite a little shaky midsection there, Conciliatory Pass is back in front. So you have to say, this is a good showing from the debutant so far. Fidus. Right the Olen. Coming in for Asta's third dino, we have got the Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus. Making its official tournament debut. Because it's never featured in any of my tournaments. Well, except for mini tournaments. But in terms of like these tournaments, World Championship tournaments, we've never seen it before. Will it pull it will it pull it wrap it out of the hat to get Asta out of trouble? Or will conciliatory pass continue his impressive performance so far? Oh, that's another hit! Asta I think Asta, I think Asta's in trouble here. Because if the Triceratops, if and when the Triceratops comes in, remember it gets a hit, and that hits a crit. Look at this from the rookie! I'm sorry, I'm not belittling you, conciliato conciliatory past. But, you know, it is your first tournament, okay? So I've got to call you a rookie. And that might actually do it. 
Aster is going to lose this match. And in fact, can Conciliatory Pass get the bonus point win? Oh, he can't. But that doesn't matter because Super Triceratops is coming in with terrain advantage. It's going to get the next hit. Which means that Aster is going down. And yeah, we we'll might as well uh, showcase it. And that means Conciliatory Pass is going to get the first win of my tournament, of this tournament. Sorry, Aster, but terrain advantage rules. You're gonna get, you're gonna get killed here. That'll do it. And what a performance from Conciliatory Pass. A win, three points on the board, and a very good start to this to tournament life for them. So fair play to the rookie. And Asta will be licking their wounds big time. On to our third matchup now, a matchup of two newcomers. Okie dokie. Ooh, in the Alpha Arena. Representing Sunlight Rabbit in the red corner, we have got the Orange Triceratops. The dinosaur that never got an actual card. I mean, we, we see Dino Tector and Super Tripe, but never the normal one. So it'll be interesting to see what it can do. It'll be tough though, because in the blue corner for gold, making a tournament debut, we have got Stegosaurus. I feel like this one-on-one -on -one matchup could, be, could decide who wins this contest. Stegosaurus will definitely have to pull his weight here. Um, there's no alpha dinosaurs in this matchup, so no terrain advantages. No blitz types either, so we'll be going on like normal. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that's a, not a good start from the stag, but a very good start from Sunlight Rabbit. Banana surprise coming in here. Boom, doo, doo, boom. Stegosaurus, you really got to take advantage of type advantage. And that's not the way to do it. This is a strong start from the trike. And Stegosaurus, you've got to say so far, slipping like a banana. And that, I think, has removed one of its moves. So, the shockwave, the move removal rule will take place, which means the Triceratops will automatically go for paper. Which guarantees that the Steg is going down. And it is. And that is a strong start from Sunlight Rabbit. And well, Gold in a bit of a pickle here. Right, representing gold for their second die. No, we've got Acrocanthosaurus, and it's gonna have to pull its weight here to get gold back in this contest. Because Rabbit, Sunlight Rabbit, is looking really strong so far. Well, that's a problem. You don't take advantage of type advantage. This can happen. Oh, there's another hit. It's just gold just can't get a hit on the board. I mean, it's too early to say, but could we be looking at a 3-0 whitewash? <laughs> ah, there we go. Finally, finally gold gets a hit. Another much needed one. But Sunlight Rabbit still pretty much dominant in this match. Ooh, this could be exactly what Gold needs, a crit and a burning dash to boot. This will do significantly more damage to the Triceratops. Oh, look at that! Okay, maybe we're not going to see a 3-0 yet. Oh, but Sunlight Rabbit does get a 2-0 lead. And this is a strong showing from the rookie so far. Well, big problem now. Ampelosaurus comes in. He'll have tight disadvantage against the Triceratops. And not only that, he's got to get past the Papasaurus and Ankyceratops. Super Ankyceratops, which will have type advantage. This Ampelosaurus has got to pull its weight here big time if Gold wants to get back in this contest. But it is looking bleak. Oh, there's a 
lightning strike. Oh dear, this isn't good. This Triceratops is just mopping the floor with gold. Oh, here we go. Triceratops finally biting the dust. And that's coming as a relief later. Goal, but they're not going to get 3 0 in the first match. <laughs> right, coming in next for Sunlight Rabbit, second dino, we have got a Patasaurus. All secret moves, a good chance here for Sunlight Rabbit to get a bonus point win in their first match of the tournament. And if they do, they will current, they will sit top for the time, well, for the time being, till our main event. And what a main event it promises to be, but Gold is coming back into this match, showing a little bit of fight, showing a bit of defiance. Coming here saying, you're not taking me down that easy, Sunlight Rabbit. Tight. Ooh, hello, we got Ocean Panic. Has Gold stolen this match's momentum? A move removal effect here would be most welcome. Badoosh, badoosh. And it is, there is a move removal effect. So you know what that means? Ampelosaurus will be going for scissors. You can't go rock. Oh, he's gonna get it. And all of a sudden, things not looking so hot for Sunlight Rabbit. And it's down to the Super Anticeratops. Awaken mode on three. I think a lot of the Awaken modes are on three this year. That seems to be the default. Well, can Anki Ceratops wrestle back momentum? Because Sunlight Rabbit is losing momentum in this match. He's still got the type advantage though, so he's still got that to count on. But, this Amplosaurus is looking strong. Ooh, a hit to steady the ship there. A Tappy Jara dive and a Death Grind to come. Anki Ceratops' signature move, this. Wabadoosh! <laughs> that's the OG death grind. Right, that's once. And that was definitely steady things for Sunlight Rabbit. Oh, is that Tiger going to do it? Oh, it's not. And for that lightning strike, will do it. And Sunlight Rabbit is going to enjoy their first ever victory in a tournament. As for Gold, well, they put up a good fight in the end. You know, they made it a little bit interesting, but the slow start cost them. But well played to Sunlight Rabbit. Three points on the board. On to our main event of this evening. It is a clash between the last year's quarter-finalist Crown Over against last year's giant killer Black Beauty. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Cryonova, we have got Allosaurus Atrox. An interesting choice since this is a dinosaur that dumped him out of last year's tournament. So a very interesting choice here, and it doesn't have any win moves, which, well, given all the fire types in the tournament, I think is a good thing to be honest. But representing Black Beauty in the blue corner, we have got the Super Eocarcaria. Surprisingly, the only one in this tournament, I believe. Oh, no, no, Tyrant King has one. <laughs> um, yeah, I like Black Beauty's chances in this match, if I gotta be honest. But this could go either way. And these two did meet in the last 32 round last year with Crown Over coming out on top. So what a main event we're gonna have here. And we're starting with a tie. Another tie. Another tie. <laughs> Ooh, Eocarcaria gets the first hit on the board. It's a power drain. And Black Beauty getting off to the start they want. Nom, 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 nom. Sucking the life out of Atrox. That's a tie. Crownover really needs to kill this uh, this um, Eocarcaria quick. And that's a good response from Crownover. Getting a tail smash, a crit. 
That could be what he needs. Badoosh. Oh, look at the damage. Atrox's crit is beastly. Right, that's twice. Ooh, and look at this. Crown over racing into a lead with two quick tail smashes. Massive hits there. And Super Eocark area goes down. And the attack boost is maxed up as well. Which will come in handy because... For Black Beauty's second dinosaur, we have the Blitz-type Brachyceratops. This is a very wildy, wild choice here. And because it is Blitz-type, it will start with two crits in a row. So it will go for paper. Which means Crown Nova cannot get a Tail Smash here. I gotta make sure to click it on ten. Right. There we go. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, hello. We got a plasma anchor. And Atrox is going down. That could be a crucial plasma anchor that from Bracky Ceratops. Now, this could be a problem for Crown Over, because his second I know is Sukamimus. It'll have tight disadvantage against the Brachyceratops. Now, Crown Over can get a crit here, because Brachyceratops still has to go for another crit. So this next hit could, dis could be decisive. Gotta tap it quick, gotta tap it quick. Right, and that's it now for Brachyceratops. Oh, and he gets it! Black Beauty gets the crit. That could be a big crit. Look at that. Although Brachyceratops isn't the hardest hitting dinosaur. But that's still gonna hurt the Sukumimus. That's a tie. Is that Plasma Anchor again? Yes, it is. And I forget what it does, even though I know what it does. I think it's something to do with the opponent's defence, I think. <laughs> and Black Beauty, I feel like he's turning the screw on this in this contest. The Sukumimus is struggling. Oh, is that another tie? But Plasma Anchor, I think, is tap. Oh, no, it's not. That's another tie, and that'll be all she wrote for Sukumimus. And Crown Over playing catch up. Right, for Crown Over's third dinosaur, we got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Gonna fight fire with fire here? Well, lightning with lightning in this case. And Crown Over really needs to get back in this contest, because Black Beauty, like I said, I feel like they've turned the screw here. Ooh, that's a tie. But ties only suit Black Beauty. Another tie, but we might see another Plasma Anchor. Ooh, a crucial hit that could be from Crown Nova. Getting a hit on the board, dragging himself back in this contest. And that will be the finisher for Brachyceratops. So, we are back level pecking. Right, representing Black Beauty for their third dino, it is Ace. Ace Dinotector. I think being used for the first time in my tournament as well. I think someone used it last year though, I'm not sure. But here he is in all his beauty. The dino illusion could prove vital in this matchup here. I still feel like, even though both guys are down to their last dinos, I do feel like Black Beauty still has the edge here. So Crown Over not out of the woods yet, but Crown Over does have the counter blitz. And the banana surprise does go through Dino Illusion. What a main event this has been. Ooh, that's a tie. I don't think the ace has a... Uh... Sonic Blast, so Crown Over doesn't need to worry about that, but does need to worry about that! A 
And now Black Beauty on the brink of the win. Getting some revenge on that after that last 32 exit at the hands of Crown over, but not yet. Ooh, and that's a big hit, because that's going to be a Gatlin spark. Oh my god, look at Ace's neck. Badoosh. Massive damage there from Crown over. And that does guarantee him at least a losing bonus point out of this match. And no Dino Illusion either. Interesting. Oh, that's a tie. I going to do it. That'll do it for Crown over and his Black Beauty's victory. And that was a fantastic main event. Black Beauty getting revenge on Crown over after their exit last year. And as for Crown over, well, they will get a losing bonus point, And you never know how crucial that could be. And that will conclude the first round for Group A. So we will tally up the points and have a look at the table as it stands. And we will end the session. Right, and that is how Group A looks, ladies and gentlemen. No separation here. <laughs> Everyone at one on three points, except for Crown Over, who did get a losing bonus point sitting in fifth. Raybone, Gold, Aster still pointless. So yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment. Did you enjoy the matches? Are you looking forward to your next matchups? And until next time. Ta-ta!